bougie and ghetto because that's me. I'm a little classy, but I'm a little, I get turned. Like, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna get lit, you know, outside with my ratchet ass friends. Like, yeah. But I want some sedity things to happen. I want some, some bougie shit to happen to me. Luxury. I had somebody send me this beat, actually. Like, he always reaching out, like, get on my shit. So I was like, all right, let me go through the file. Because he was sending me like 10, 20 at a time. So now I was just like, let me. And I was like, this is a hit. Like, this beat's sick. I'm glad that, you know, everybody is like fucking with it for real, for real. I think they welcomed it, you know, like it was given party, but at the same time, it's still not as ratchet as like Twerk Anthem, like some of the other shit that I dropped. Like, so you still gonna bang your head, but you're not gonna maybe shake your ass, but you can shake your ass to it. So it's a middle ground. That's why it's like the best of both worlds. The video is showing both worlds, like the bougie side, cause she got on, you know, the cute outfit, looking nice, hair is done, like half up with the braids that's showing the, the ghetto. And then bougie is like, all right, the dress, a little cute apartment, you know. Uh, and then I'm country too, so that's like country ghetto. So I took out to the country, the sticks. <laughs> Bougetta, get to the cheddar. Ain't no pussy better, nigga. Ain't no pussy better. Flyer than a feather, you won't ever forget her. She a trendsetter, that's why all the bitches sweating her. Bougetta, you know, like I said, you know. She's ghetto, she confident, she ratchet. You know, you can get slapped, but you gonna get some wine and some mimosas at brunch, you know? <laughs> Ain't no pussy better. That's just self-explanatory. You know, I don't think nobody pussy better than mine. But <laughs> I do think my friends, you know, they pack it. They pack it. <laughs> and we get to the bag. Always gotta get to the bag. Always gotta get to the cheddar. Bougetta, I remind them of Griselda. I like to party fiesta, fiesta. My flow interchangeable, always switching like the weather. It's a shame they think that I have a vendetta. Niggas always think I got like ulterior motives for whatever reason like they don't think I'm really humble and I be taking shit smooth so they think that I'm out to get the ass for whatever reason <laughs> I be thinking like do I give set up vibes I don't know but yeah I remind them of Griselda cause you know we gonna get to the money like I said we gonna get some shit shaking I know that I really tickled this fancy talking about snacks like I ain't the whole fucking pantry I'm the big eight Sis is giving chimpanzee. And no, nigga, you know I'm not wearing no panties. I ain't wearing no panties for the most part, for the most, you know, 24-7, unless my lady thing is on. <laughs> but she was like real minuscule to me. Like, I don't compete with bitches on your level because I'm the big eight. And I took a your nigga fancy. <laughs> like, I took her this fancy. I'm motherfucking the pantry. Fuck the snacks. Like, I'm the whole, like, he come in here to get it all. Like, you can get it all right here. I got suggestions and remedies. One look, now he dropping boxes to his knees. The way I make you sprout, make you want to plant a seed. He didn't touch me. He sent coins meta virtually. He ain't touch me. He sent, you know, the metaverse. He sent the cash out. He ain't get to touch it, but, you know, he still cash out me. Like, that's how you play the game. You're a bad bitch. You can get those type of incentives. I got suggestions and remedies because niggas be having problems and you got to be the solution. So I'm the solution. And of course, one look for me, he wouldn't drop them boxes to his knees like, and plant the seed like, with his tree. People, they really hate to see you in. Resilient bitch know that I take it to the chin. If you don't have a float, then I hope that you can swim. Bougie and ghetto across all boards. I'm a 10. So across every board, like, I got book sense, I got street sense. That's the bougie in the ghetto, like, mm, across all boys. Like, so you know what I'm saying? Across all boys, like surfboard, bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I don't know. I was really just playing a lot for real, for real with this record. Like, trying to give y'all a little bit of that good energy. Mm. Name being discussed in places I haven't touched. Reaching new heights, had courage mustered up. 
super friendly. Yeah, I'm super stuck up. He's a dog with you. I know how to train my pups. Like, he a dog with you. He do that dog shit over there with you. But over here, he you know, he's on a leash. <laughs> like, you got to be a good boy. Sit down. Go over there. You're not running out the house in the streets. Basically reaching new heights. Like, I had the courage to muster up. Because, like, this is a risk. Doing this music shit is real risky. Like, you playing with my money for real. So... <laughs> You gotta look at it like I mustered up the courage, like, and name is being discussed everywhere. Like, y'all about to hear about it real soon. <laughs> I gave him back to the streets because I found out that he a scrub. Don't cry over niggas, man. My shoulders barely shrug. He don't even want you, baby girl. That shit has to suck. Bitches don't be bucking. They just all talk. They all bark. No fucking bite. Like, so. And I don't like scrubs. Like, once I find out you, like, on some scrub shit, you gotta go, like. And I don't cry over these niggas, like. Boo-hoo, sad story. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. <laughs>